Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Atheist Church. Uh, today, as promised, I would like to talk about dicks. When studying the animal kingdom, you will see variety, diversity. Obviously, you'll see lots of different types of animals with lots of different parts. But looking at just about any of these animals, you can recognize the limbs. You can recognize the mouth, the nose, the eyes, the ears. You can be pretty sure what these things do. For the most part, they are very similar, with a few key groupings. Then we come to the area of male genitalia. Biologists don't see this kind of variety, diversity, anywhere else. It's wild. All kinds of different dicks. Now, from an evolutionary perspective, this makes a lot of sense. The genitals are, of course, the key point of sexual contact and the last chance for competition. So from that perspective, it makes sense that there are a lot of dicks. But let's take a second and look at this from an intelligent design or creationist perspective. Well, makes for a rather disturbing psychological profile, doesn't it? I mean, apparently God spent a lot of time making dicks. There are dicks with hooks, bristles, prehensile dicks, dicks that spiral, and dicks that unfurl. It's like God made everything else and then left Dr. Seuss in charge of the dicks. There are dicks that grow and dicks that shrink, dicks with bends and curves and kinks. Now my wife, hearing me carrying on and on about dicks, and being the feminist that she is, always feels the need to add, and vaginas, and vaginas. Well, no. I'm sorry, dear wife. You're wrong. Female genitalia, while certainly fascinating to me, is, from a biological perspective, boring. Sorry. I mean, there is a dick that spirals, but there's not a corresponding vagina that spirals. And thank goodness for that. Can you imagine if the farmer had to go out and unscrew the pigs? One of those times when remembering that it's lefty-loosey and righty-tighty would be very important. Well, my wife's not one to give up, and anyone that knows us well knows that she's not one to lose either, at least not to me. And within minutes, she had found on the internet the fascinating world of duck vaginas. This duck vagina is an incredible thing. You've got doors that go to nowhere, hallways that twist and turn and end in dead ends, trap doors. I mean, you've got everything in there but a strobe light and a disco ball. And why is that? Well, kin selection is an important part of survival of the fittest and an important engine to an animal's evolution towards producing good, healthy offspring. And rape gets in the way of kin selection. And ducks are notorious rapists. Duck biologists call it forced extra pair coupling, but we all know what it really is. Duck rape. It's hard to say duck vagina and duck sperm and duck... So the female duck has, over time, evolved an amazing vagina meant to thwart the sperm of the offending male duck rapist. At least, that's what the evolutionary biologists would have us believe. Then we go back to the creationist intelligent design theory. I guess God got bored one day, so he built the Winchester Mystery House of Vaginas? Of course, the rapist duck and the invited duck both have to uh, deal with this complex vagina, and so the male duck has evolved a penis that could best be described by thinking of those roll-out, blow-up toys that you have at uh, kids' parties, and then they roll back up to be put away when not in use. That analogy is mostly so that the next time you go to a kid's birthday party, you will be greatly disturbed walking around seeing kids with duck dicks everywhere. Sorry about that. There's one thing that uh, concerns me here. If forced extra pair coupling duck rape led to these crazy genitals, what the hell are our frat boys and sorority girls genitals going to look like in another couple thousand years? Something must be done. So there you have it. All my thoughts on dicks. Aren't you glad you tuned in this week? Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to tackle next week, but I am looking at uh, a rant on morality sometime soon. So go ahead and give me your thoughts on that. And uh, thanks again for tuning in. See you soon.